Uh, duly noted. Uh, interesting uh, reaction and uh, certainly our top story of the day. Ed, thank you for kicking us off. Meantime, officials in Italy are boosting security at high-profile sites over concerns that ISIS terrorists could get into that country disguised as Libyan refugees. A destabilized Libya is right across the Mediterranean from Italy, just a few hundred miles away, and ISIS just made it clear they have their eyes on Rome. Amy Kellogg joins us live from London with more. Amy. Hi, John. Well, ISIS has been using Rome and its aggressive rhetoric for some time, but really it was only when those 21 Coptic Christians were uh, beheaded in Libya a few days ago that, uh, and, and just a few hundred miles away, really across the sea, John, that uh, that rhetoric, rhetoric took on more resonance. And basically the very thought of a Somalia on the Med sends chills through the spines of all Europeans. But it was not until these images came out that Europeans, and particularly Italians, were shocked by the proximity of this evil. Now, Italy, with huge oil interests in Libya, was the last really to get its people out of the embattled country. But they finally closed their embassy after the beheadings of those Coptic workers. Security has been increased around sensitive sites, including the Vatican, with thousands of extra specially trained police fanned out around the country. Now, one of the big hyped potential scenarios is terrorists blending in with the flotillas of refugees who've been fleeing conflict in the Middle East and North Africa, possibly attacking Coast Guard ships or simply entering Italy and hence the EU, using it as a sort of beachhead. The interior minister of Italy now is playing that notion down, that possibility, though, of course, it is not beyond the realm of possibility. Italy has been overwhelmed in recent years coping with these migrants, which is a story all of its own. 5,000, 5,000 arrived in January alone, 180,000 last year. The interior minister also saying the threats to Rome as much, are as much virtual as anything else, kind of symbolic. ISIS saying it wants to destroy crosses and slave Christian women and their sons. Some suggest ISIS may be more concerned also with competing uh, against the, meet, uh, the other militant groups in Libya for power than trying to reach European shores. I've spoken, John, finally um, with an army colonel who is quite intimately familiar with the situation on the ground in, in Libya. He says it's not something out of the movies to think that terrorists could try to cross, uh, cross the Mediterranean uh, in boats to attack Europe via Italy. But he also says that what's gone on recently in France and in Denmark shows that homegrown terror may be just as much of a threat. John. Very good point there. Amy Kellogg.